Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I finally did it. I filmed my everyday makeup look. So this is the makeup routine that I do every morning, whether I'm going to shoot, for dinner, for brunch, or a coffee date with my friends you name it it's my literally my everyday makeup look i don't do much in terms of changing up my look because i'm not a makeup guru and i'm kind of scared that i would do something that doesn't suit my face so i literally stick to what i know what i'm good at which I think most people do anyway. Disclaimer, I am not a professional, so please keep it friendly in the comment section down below. And obviously, if you have any tips or tricks you want to share with me, please do, but in a very nice and calming way. But without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start off my makeup tutorial, not a primer but actually more sunscreen. So if you had just recently watched my skincare video, I'll have a little pop-up here. Then you will know that I had mixed two sunscreen. Well, one was like more of a moisturizer that had sunscreen, which is not enough. And I mixed it with my coral reef friendly sunscreen from Jean Collet since it's super sunny now in Montreal and we are heading towards summer I like to add extra protection because you can never have too much protection from the sun I love to use the Chanel UV essential not only because it smells good but it is a great base for your makeup bring it down to the neck I take my Goldgasm highlighter, liquid hi highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury and I place it under the areas that are a little bit darker so I like to do under my eyes because I have really bad eye bags um, I don't know if you can see but here I have a little bit of scarring from popping pimples here as well I like my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna use my fingers just to dab it in. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer almost at the same spots that I did the highlighter, except for obviously my cheekbones. Using a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend it all out. If you don't have a beauty blender, obviously you can use your fingers or a very tight um, kabuki brush or any type of brush that you like to apply your foundation or concealer with. I just like to use a beauty, a damp beauty blender because it kind of imitates that natural glowy skin look I'm just gonna put a bit more in this area next i'm gonna take a translucent loose setting power from laura mercier uh, I love this one because it really really does the job of not making your makeup budge but I'm not going to apply it all over my face I'm only going to apply it to the areas where I don't want the concealer to move it's a little bit drying so I'm not going to put it under my eyes and we are done with the beauty blender for now actually gonna wait for the powder to do its magic you know while it's doing its magic I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use it with my bronzer 
This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan in the color 104. I'm gonna sweep it across my eyelids. And I honestly don't know what this brush is because I bought it at Target three or four years ago when I was in the States. I'm just gonna squeeze the brush like this and apply a little bit on my lower lash line. Squeeze it again. Kind of contour my nose. Like so. Next, I'm going to take this. I think it's from Charlotte Tilbury. If I can find the link, I will link it to you. If not, I'm going to show a close up of this brush. I love it for bronzer, actually. Do a little sweepy sweep. And I'm going to contour my face. And I like to put it a little bit higher just so it lifts my face. A little bit right on my jawline here to make the illusion have a smaller forehead <laughs> gonna take this basic brush again I don't know where it's from oh actually it's from elf it came in like package of brushes that I bought at the pharmacy but obviously a very long time ago just gonna take it and brush off any excess translucent powder and at the same time powder down my t-zone my under eyes next i'm going to take this brush again no clue where it's from and i'm just going to blend in the contour and you want to be light when you're blending in the contour because you don't want everything to budge. Blend, blend, blend. And this might seem like a lot of makeup, but it's really not. You're just taking a lot of products and you're applying a little bit of each. I don't know if that makes sense. Blend until you can't see much. Bring it down your neck a little bit. Next, we're gonna move on to blush. I like to start off my blush with the Pinkasm Beauty Light One High Blush. It's the same one that I used um, before to brighten up my dark spots from charlotte tilbury i like to take this sephora rouge 2018 brush that i got as a gift swipe it a little bit like this so that i get some color on the brush lightly dab it on my skin the highest point of my face since this is more of a liquid format i'm scared that it might move during the day i like to go in with a powder form of blush and i'm using the overlust cheek palette by nars and this really old brush from real technique Tap off the excess and I just lightly swoop at the highest point of my cheeks. Take this brush again and just blend a little bit. Next up, we're gonna do eyes and eyebrows. I'm gonna use the same products for my eyebrows. Before I had eyelash extensions, I would actually use a liquid eyeliner for my eyes. But I found that with eyelash extensions, it created weird sticky residue on my lash extensions. It would cause my lash extensions to fall out at a quicker rate. So now I just use eyeshadow to kind of do that similar 
wing liner effect that I used to do with my liquid eyeliner. I am using La Palette Sourcil um, in the color medium, so 02, from the Chanel Beauty collection. This is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's very dirty, but you can see here it has uh, four tools that you can use. It has a little spoolie brush, a small angle brush, this thing that I don't know what it's for, and a tweezer. The two um, most used tools that I that I use is the spoolie and the angle brush. So we're gonna go ahead and do our brows. I'm gonna dip the angle brush in both. Just mix it a little bit. Then we're just going to that's okay. It's kind of hard to do on camera. It's all right. I'll just mix it a little bit. And that is when the spoolie brush comes in handy. My eyebrows are done. They're supposed to look like sisters, not twins. I'm going to go ahead and dip the ankle brush back in. And this is gonna be hard. <laughs> That was very much so freehand, but I don't know if you guys can see the difference. It's kind of like a wing liner type of effect. This one doesn't have it. This one does. So you want to do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Last and final, final step. I like to use the What I Do Makeup Refreshing Spray by Fenty Beauty. Shake it up a little bit. It actually acts a little bit like a setting spray for me and I use it mostly around the eye area because eyeshadow tends to move a lot. I have really oily eyelids. Do a little spray. Let it dry. And we're gonna now put on lipstick. I always use the same for products. I love this chapstick or lip balm from Rouge Dior. It is their color Dior Natural Satin Balm 000. Looks like this. And I love how it's a lipstick applicator format makes it so much easier to apply on your lips then i love going in with the makeup forever aqua lip in color 1c it's supposed to be waterproof i just like to line my lips with it it's also a super pretty color to just wear on your lips it's very natural then i go in with Glossier Generation G lipstick in the color Like. Apply it all over. Next, I go in with Glossier Generation G in Cake, but I only apply it in the middle. Be right back going to do my bangs well there you have it my everyday makeup look i hope you guys enjoy and again if you guys have any other video recommendations please let me know down in the description box 
below. I filmed a skincare video for you guys, so keep on the lookout for that. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment section down below. For every single video I'm going to put out, uh, I'm going to do a mini giveaway with any extra, obviously unopened, skincare products, makeup products. Sometimes I'll be collaborating with brands for giveaways, so if you see this message, if you hear this message, please comment down uh, below with your IG handle so it's easier for me to find you and to pick a winner. And again, thank you so much for watching and for supporting me. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!